the premier audio and video experience in the United States, this August 4th through the 6th in Raleigh, North Carolina. Audio Advice Live is going bigger, bolder, and louder. Audio Advice Live is the best place to learn about the latest trends in high-performance audio, home theater, two-channel, turntables, or headphones. Meet with the industry's top experts, brands, and influencers to hear all the latest and greatest gear live and in person. Register to attend now at audioadvice.live. Hello, everyone. I'm Jonathan. Welcome to our live stream here. We're joined by a couple of great friends, Michael Stevens, who is youth man. Welcome, Michael. Hey, man. Appreciate it. And, uh, of course, Gene from Audioholics. Gene, welcome. Great to see you again. Likewise. Thanks for having us. And we've got Nick Rich on our Audio Advice team. So we are excited to talk about all things Audio Advice Live coming up here on August 4th through the 6th in downtown Raleigh. Uh, it's going to be bigger, better, louder than last year. We're going to walk you guys through what you can expect to see at the show, maybe a couple of highlights from last year. And again, some things that are going to be new to this show this year that we're super excited about. Uh, the team has been working on this for basically since August, the end of August last year. So we've got a little bit more time to get ready. And I can tell you as a result, we've got some incredible experiences that we're excited to share with everyone. If you've got a comment, go ahead and drop it in the comments. We're going to get to as many of those as we can during this next hour. Um, we're going to bring on some of our friends from some other big brands that you guys will be all, I'm sorry, that will be familiar to everyone. And uh, we're going to have a ton of fun. So kicking it off, Audio Advice Live. Last year, obviously, was the first year that we pulled off this show at the Sheraton in downtown Raleigh. Uh, thankfully, we had a tremendous response from all of our key brand partners and we also had a lot of our friends uh, on YouTube, like yourselves, you know, join us, which was a ton of fun. So maybe you guys, Mike, we'll start with you. Maybe what what stood out to you about the show uh, last year? And then maybe what are some things that you're excited to see this year? Sure. So last year was my first year joining Audio Vice Live. And honestly, just out of the gate, you guys nailed it. I mean, from just the atmosphere, the creativity that, was, that went into um, just the look and the style and the feel and the vibe. When you walk in, you're like, all right, this is legit. This is going down. And your staff was hugely, hugely impressive to me. Um, just the friendliness and just making sure that we as content creators had everything that we needed to just have a good time, interact with people. And of course, get some really, really awesome demos in your experience rooms and then just all the different hotel rooms. Um, and the other thing that, you know, I'm a home theater dude myself. I mean, I love home theater more than I do two channel. And so I was really excited to find out that y'all had set up several home theater rooms. So that was really, really, um, you know, appreciative on my side. And, and like I said, just hanging out with everybody, having a good time. And that's really what this hobby should be about. Right. You know, the friendships, the relationships, of course, the great gear. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, let's share it together. And let's just have a good time. Absolutely. Yeah. You touched on a couple of things. One, um, yeah, we try to roll out the Southern hospitality, you know, you being down South as well, right. That's something that we certainly yeah. take pride in and, and hopefully people felt like that. We want to invite everyone, right? Obviously, we're going to be showing off some super cool, really high-end stuff, but we're also going to be showing off some really affordable stuff. And we want everyone to feel like they're they're welcome to the party. And then, like you mentioned, it's a it's a pretty tight-knit industry. Hopefully, people are, are realizing that if you've been following us or yourselves yeah. on the live streams and recognizing that, hey, we all, we all have a very similar passion. And I think mm -hmm. it, it certainly shows in the way that everybody gets along and the camaraderie and all that good stuff. So, um, And then I think also what you touched on is that what makes you audio advice live unique and different than some of the other shows out there, which there's some tremendous shows, uh, you know, Gene, you've got one in your backyard. Obviously a lot of us have been to Expona and, you know, a number of other shows and they have some tremendous, you know, two channel and stereo stuff. But Michael, as you mentioned, one of the things that we're really proud of is being able to bring some really cool home theater experiences, you know, for people to be able to see firsthand. So yeah, again, we're, we're great. Uh, glad to have you back. And uh, we're like 28 days away. So yeah. Get ready. <laughs> Uh, real quick, before I move over to Gene, Michael, you've also got a really cool event that I know you've been working really hard on. Yeah. Why don't you let everybody know, like I mentioned, hey, it's, it's a win-win, you know, the more people that get excited about this. So uh, sure. what you have working on. Yeah, so last year we started an event called M-Way, which is Midwest AV Experience in Kansas City. So this year we moved it to the Kansas City Convention Center. So it's a much bigger space, just sure. more conducive to being able to do some really cool things that we're just not seeing in a lot of trade shows that we've been to. So I really want to focus on, like I said, relationship building. I want to create an atmosphere that people come and they intentionally have an opportunity to meet some new people, meet some friends. Because I don't know about you guys, I don't have a whole lot of people in my area that I connect with that are into home theater. So if you can make those physical 
relationships one-on-one and get to know some people. We want to do that. We're doing home theater tours for some of our VIP uh, gold and platinum. Um, And then the other thing that we're really, really excited about is being able to offer full Dolby Atmos experiences at the show. Um, And so we're, we're going all out. We've got some great brands that are coming out. And I mean, they're putting, they're putting cages, not cages, but I guess like the uh, trusses and hanging speakers and uh, we're really excited about it, but that's going to be July the uh, 14th through the 16th. Awesome. So just yeah, right around the corner, right? Well, congrats to you. And next week I'll be flying out. Yeah. And congrats on the growth and to you and everyone who's been involved in that. So I know that's uh, something that's really exciting. Gene, welcome back. I know you've been on our, uh, our live streams a handful of times and you, uh, everyone loves having you on. Tell us maybe some of the things that you uh, that stood out to you last year at Audio Vice Live and what you're excited to see this year. Well, first of all, John, thanks uh, for having us, having Absolutely. me on here and, and participating in your events. Um, I underestimated the Audio Vice Live show last year. I, you know, I went for a day. I'm like, ah, just cover it in like an hour or two. I, didn't, I had low expectations, nothing against you. But I know how challenging it is to run a trade show. I've been going to trade shows for over two decades. And I figured it's your first year, so it's probably not going to be, you know, that grand. But then I realized Audio Vice is legit. Like, you yeah. guys had that thing heavily staffed. No matter where you walked, mm-hmm. there was a friendly Audio Advice person there. It was almost like, you know, it was almost a surreal experience because everything was so tightly organized and the flow was great. You had so much diversity of equipment, demo rooms, being able to interface with the manufacturers. I mean, I could only imagine what a consumer walking into the show and then seeing like JBL there and having the ability to talk to the engineers that design the products. It's got to be like a kid in a candy store experience. I know that's how I felt when I was there. I felt like it reminded me, I, I know Michael, you and I, when we were younger, we would go to Sound Advice locally yeah. or Circuit City and we'd be in there all day long demoing and stuff. You miss that because it's it's rare that you could find that kind of intimacy and a demo experience with all the different products. So it was it was a great um, experience the first year. I really loved being part of that technical panel um, mm-hmm. with some experts, industry you know subject matter experts. And I'm very appreciative that you guys invited me back to participate in a couple of those panels again. And then Nick just did an incredible job getting those rooms organized. I know it was everyone at audio vice but i know nick was just running around like yeah. crazy. you're, so, you're, you're right. superhuman you're yeah. superhuman what you were able to pull off and, and i'm just i'm looking forward to seeing how the show grows because right now it's one of my favorite trade shows to go to and that's a high bar because there's some great trade shows like you mentioned right. there's the florida audio expo right behind my backyard uh, of course i love cedia but this is way more focused on the demo experience so yeah very exciting, yeah. Well, again, we're incredibly glad to have you back. Glad you enjoyed it last year. And again, I'm glad to have you back this year. And thank you for helping us promote the event. And like you mentioned, one of the things that we'll have, in addition to all the great experiences that you'll see, both two-channel, home theater, et cetera, is we've got some great, I think, world-class panel sessions um, that I know, Michael, you'll be on one of the sessions. Gene, I know you're going to be on one of the sessions. Nick, you're going to be moderating one. Um, Scott Uno, our CEO, is going to be moderating one. Leon Shaw, our founder, is going to be moderating one. And then I'll be moderating one as well. So we've got one on Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. And I think it's just going to, they're going to be world-class experiences. I mean, our name is Audio Advice. And so that's something that we're really proud to bring to the table. It's just a wealth of knowledge that we're able to leverage from folks like you and a lot of our industry partners. And so um, glad that you guys are going to be participating in those. Nick, real quick, uh, tell us some of the things that you, you worked really, really hard for those that don't know Nick. Nick was literally yeah. like, hoping, like hooking up gear all the way to the last minute. I know. I was up till about two in the morning. Uh, my Apple Watch said I had walked uh, 11 miles, and that's inside of a hotel. Uh, so that's, nice. uh, I was running all around, but you know, I, I work remote. And so I wasn't, you know, hands on inside the hotel the entire time. I was doing a lot of the designs and working with the brands behind the scene to design these killer theaters. And, you know, some of the uh, some of the rooms panned out to be just completely well. A lot of the rooms were, were great, but some of the rooms turned out just to be absolutely insane. And so to see a lot of those unfold was um, was crazy. But I, I mean, I didn't know what to expect before I got there. Even though I had worked on planning this, I was like, "How is this hotel going to look? Is it going right. to look like a hotel? Is it going to look like a convention?" You know, I a part of me was like, "Is it just going to be a floor of hotel rooms that I just walk inside of?" Didn't know, uh, didn't know what to look at, but we did a complete takeover of this hotel and our marketing team 
knocked it out of the park. You walked in and you knew exactly where to go. There was signage mm-hmm. everywhere. I was, I was mind blown. Then I walked into the, where the panel sessions were. And again, I was kind of expecting like a, a lunch room with some tables. at it. And, <laughs> and then I walk in and again, I'm planning all this, but just thinking for the worst. And so, uh, yeah, I walk in and just see this massive neon sign, see these giant, uh, clips, Jubilees sitting in there. And it just, it, it, it took me back. And so, this year, I've got my expectations way higher, and I've done a lot more planning along with the rest of the team than last year, and it's going to be really cool. So we're just absolutely stoked about it. Yeah, awesome. And yeah, to your point, you, as someone said Nick has th- was one of three triplet of Knuckle Brothers because I think you were in like three places at one time. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. I'll, I'll echo that for sure. So uh, I just couldn't believe he installed speakers in the ceiling tiles. Atmos. <laughs> I mean, you had full on Atmos, no yeah. bouncy house speakers. Actually, oh yeah, just wait Atmos. till this year. So yeah, we had uh, we had a nine five six there last year, and we're expecting. I don't want to, I don't want to unveil too much, but there's going to be more rooms like that. I'll yeah, put it that way. Bigger, better, louder for sure. So um, let's welcome on, welcome our first guest here. So we've got uh, Adam from Kef. So Kef supported us in a big, big way. And Adam's actually located right here in our backyard in the greater Raleigh area. So we get to know him pretty well. It's been a good minute, amount of time with Adam. Adam, you guys supported us in a big way. I know you guys don't do, Kef traditionally doesn't do a lot of uh, trade shows or consumer shows like this. And so, again, we appreciate you guys jumping in, you know, year one in a big, big way. And I know you guys are doing even more this this year. So, one, uh, thank you for your support from all the team at Kef. And tell, maybe you can share a little bit about what you guys are going to be showing off here this year and what folks can expect to see. Oh man, it's, uh, I mean, we had a great time last year. Uh, I mean, to echo kind of what uh, Michael and Gene have said, it, it was the same experience for us. We kind of came there bringing, you know, you know, kind of all the, the the heavy hitting stuff we wanted to show off and we were blown away. I don't think we sat down once during the three or four days of the show. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, and, and just to tie into one thing that Michael said too, dude, the amount of people we met who were just uh, wonderful fans of, of the industry, wonderful fans of Kef, fans of audio advice, I never expected to have so many just wonderful and fun conversations uh, through a show like this. And so uh, I think we're bringing down 11 or 12 people from KEF yeah, from wow. our office in New Jersey and all throughout the country, some additional regionals and things just to make sure we have plenty of people available. So if somebody wants to talk to somebody, if somebody has questions, if somebody's looking at designing a theater, two channel system, a whole home audio, uh, you name it, we'll have someone wearing a KEF shirt there uh, to be able to help people out. Uh, instead of talking about what we are bringing to the show, I can just simply say what we're not bringing to the show, move on <laughs> and reference. Everything else is going to be there almost completely in its entirety. Nice. Um, so we will have a brand new R series meta theater on display. We will have a Q series theater on display. We'll have every single subwoofer on display, all the active LS line, all the passive LS line. We'll have all the new R series, including the custom colors, the Royal uh, like Indigo blue, as well as the titanium gray R sevens. Uh, we'll have some CI on display. That's kind of limited there because it's tough to install uh, some of our stuff. But I did find out actually the hotel has a bunch of KEF installed throughout it, which is kind of a unique thing for their distributed audio system. So that's kind of neat. And uh, and we'll have some very unique experiences as well. Um, audio advice came to my house. I think it was, oh my goodness, was it two years ago now or a year ago? Yeah. Um, can't remember. Um, I'm actually sitting in my theater now, which is a, a, a Kef reference theater. Uh, this theater was kind of unique. Uh, Scott came and did a, did a tour of it because uh, one thing I did in this room is uh, it's actually a, a multi-projection system. So you can kind of do simulated games a, a lot more like a true simulation experience. You can watch movies in a, a three screen format. Uh, and so we're going to do something kind of special for Audio Device Live this year and kind of bring one of these to the show nice. uh, to really show some uh, kind of advanced gaming mixed with really good sound, high refresh rate video. Uh, and that's going to be a really unique, really unique experience. That'll be in the Kef, uh, up in the Kef Governor Suite as well. And uh, it's just going to be a blast. I mean, it's uh, we've been working on this for months already. Uh, it'll take us a week to set it up. The show will blow by in three or four days. And next thing you know, we'll be tearing down uh, – with sore feet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. So maybe uh, we just want to do a, a great couple, show. couple of things. Uh, I think we got a couple of pictures from what you guys had last year. We'll pull mm-hmm. up the um, just so when you walk in the lobby, just even before you get to registration, yep. you come up the escalator in the in the main uh, lobby of the hotel. And like you said, you guys, I think you're going to be even bigger, and better this year in terms of the the video experience. But I know you're going to have the blades there as well, mm-hmm. so you'll be able to hear them. Your, you know, hear them yourself for the first time. Uh, and then you'll have a great video experience. And then, as you mentioned, I don't know if we have a photo of upstairs, but you guys have one of the big suites in the tower part of the hotel. 
And uh, remind everyone again what you guys are going to be having up there. The tower, the tower suite, and it's the governor's, uh, the governor suite. Uh, I think on floor 15 is where really where the majority of what Kef is bringing is going to be on display. Uh, like I said we'll have uh, we have kind of two room, two of the bedrooms off the side and the main suite in the middle. Uh, one of the bedrooms is going to be our our gaming simulation room. The other one is going to be the R series multi channel theater, which we're super excited about to show a new R R meta theater. And then the middle of the room, uh, the middle kind of main area is going to be LS uh, LS 60s, LS 50s, LS X 2s. Uh, as well as some static of the uh, new R series so everybody can see that. And that's kind of going to be our meeting room, our gathering room. We can talk, kind of go over things there. Uh, then we're really excited about our partnership with Sony. We're going to be doing a Sony 7000 ES receiver, uh, Sony 7000 uh, projector, and I'm totally stealing Kayvon's Thunder with Sony. Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, but we're <laughs> there you go. But, uh, super excited because we're going to be showing a, a Q series theater to match using all of the towers from the Q series, as well as some Kef subwoofers uh, in ceilings. We're going to have Nick installing more in ceiling speakers in there. So we're having proper Atmos. Uh, and that's going to be, honestly, that's one of the demos I'm most excited about because that's going to be an incredibly budget friendly, just blow your mind, crazy good, easy to set up, easy to use theater. I can't wait for that one. That one's going to be an, uh, an absolute blast. And that's downstairs in one of the ballrooms. Yeah. We'll kind of be scattered, uh, scattered everywhere. <laughs> we, we mentioned, we mentioned everybody in the industry is a good friend. So that was us in Texas, I think, you know, at the Sony receiver uh, launch, which is really cool. Yeah, so, we were, we were really fortunate to get to work with Sony when they unveiled their new uh, ES receiver line. I mean, they, they took 13 of these four ohm Kef THX speakers, uh, some of the bigger ones as well, and powered them off one, of the 7,000 ES receivers. It was an absolutely amazing demo. Jonathan, you got to see it. Kayvon was there help setting it up. Uh, Sony's a tremendous partner of ours. Mm -hmm. it just just real quick to give right an idea of what you guys were able to accomplish. You guys rented like a luxury Airbnb, Sony did, right? You brought in a lot of your key partners, obviously Kef being one of those, and then inside of this garage. What did you guys build, Adam? It was a, uh, was it a 9.6.6 uh, theater? In like yeah. a month, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, all, the, all the credit goes to Sony because they did the physical labor. We just showed yeah. up. And said, hey, good job! <laughs> the walls, like, did all the aesthetics. Oh, I mean, you really felt like you walked into a theater and you're like, I'm in a garage and you know some house in the middle of Texas, which was really really cool. So you guys nailed it. And then to your point, Kayvon, you know, you guys powered how many zones off of one? Sony receiver, right? Yeah, 13 channels all driven directly off the receiver. I got a little bit of a chuckle because Adam, he didn't want to believe that we were driving them all. So he went back behind the rack to make sure we weren't <laughs> running separates to a different part of the house. Right. And uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, you know, hey, if it, it's a workhorse, if you need it, it's there. And uh, and to see it drive all of that at four ohms was really, was really great. And not to mention the speakers just sounded amazing. So that room was, you know, in a garage space as, as terrifying as that sounds, it actually came through pretty good. Yeah. So. It was an awesome experience. And so, you know, last year leading up to Audio Advice Live, you know, Sony, you know, one of our biggest partners for since really the inception of Audio Advice, the history of Audio Advice, uh, we reached out to you guys and, and kind of painted the picture of what we were trying to accomplish. And you guys, I mean, you didn't just say yes, you were like, we're all in. And, you know, you brought the, the GTC 380 and you brought the 7000 ES. I mean, we were like, we want to do some really cool home theater experiences. And they're like, well, you got to look no further. So, um, maybe you guys can talk a little bit more. I know Adam kind of teased a little bit, but maybe you can share a little bit more about everything that you guys are going to have at the show. Yeah, no, sure thing. Thanks for rolling it out, Adam. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, uh, we, I mean, the beauty of Sony, I, I think is that we have our, our multifaceted between projector, receiver, TV, um, and at Audio Vice Live, we're going to be having the GTZ in one room. We're going to have the 7,000 projector in another room. We're going to have TVs kind of littered throughout uh, Audio Advice Live. So it'd be a little bit of a scavenging hunt. You'll have the 83A80 there, obviously the QD OLED, the 100 inch. Um, and it's just really neat to see that these TVs are going to be interfacing with all of our partners at Audio Advice Live. And of course, having the studio, we're going to have the tower room with our uh, some of our audio product there as well, sound bars and, and the whole nine. But the big, uh, the big thing is going to be the receiver driving that Kev system. Uh, and, and we're still dialing in what exactly we're going to do in that theater, but we know it's going to be an Atmos type setup. And we really want to show 360 spatial sound mapping, which is what the, the new receivers are really known for is taking an ideal or, or a non-ideal speaker placement setup and making it sound as best as possible. Yeah, really, really cool. It was awesome. I mean, to see the, the GTZ 380 in the hotel room, one of these big ballrooms, and just how, we, how that was brought 
to life that experience people were just like that was probably the wow factor of the entire show one of the yeah three. no definitely jonathan i think the the gtz is kind of a it's a trip to look at because to see a 220 inch or 180 inch screen look as good as that does um especially if it's driven with you know the proper power and you got everything matching up that projector is is insane and you see a lot of the great features in the gtz in our 7000 and even our lower range projectors because now they're using that same x1 ultimate for projector so it's really neat to see all the stuff in a hundred thousand dollar projector kind of trickle its way into our full lineup and, and we're excited to show that yeah, the GTZ uh, 380 last year, we had to actually design the room. It's That projector is so bright that we had to design the room around it where we didn't have to risk blinding somebody. So we had to like keep <laughs> yeah. the projector up really high and you know, put barriers around everything. And so we're going to do the same thing again this year. And you know, also, um, Gene, didn't you just get a new projector? as well yeah i uh, kevin i wanted to share that experience with you so i just sony just sent me the 6000 es and awesome. i was not expecting it was a transformative experience coming from my old projector to this and it's a 150 inch screen and i'm about the projector is about 23 feet away but all i did was spend five minutes setting the black level and the color was already accurate i mean i'm even having jason dustel from isf i don't know if you know jason dustel or not but mm -hmm. he's local to me and he's like, just put 150 hours on the, on the laser before I come over to calibrate. But I'm already, I can't imagine the picture being any better than yeah. it is right now. The black levels are just fantastic. And the projector is pretty quiet. I mean, it's, it's a, a, about three or four DB quieter than the projector I replaced. So I was happy to hear that. Yeah, no, we are in the industry of being able to notice those four DBs. So <laughs> if you got yeah. the ear for it, it definitely makes a huge difference. Yeah. And you Next guys are bringing a few of those in yeah. those rooms. Say, say that again. What are the what are the screen sizes that are going to be in those rooms with the Sony projectors? So we've got a hundred and seventy inch two four to one with the GTZ three eighty, and um, the only reason I didn't go bigger is I couldn't. There's there's a ceiling on the room which those things <laughs> suck right. typically, but uh, yeah. So we've got a ceiling in the room, so I had to stick to one hundred and seventy. Uh, but uh, we've also got a couple hundred and fifty inch screens that are going to be scattered about. Um, the six thousand ESs are going to be. They're going to be there. So you guys are going to get to see the same ones that uh, probably the same models that we had last year. And I was going to see, do you guys, are you guys bringing the 5,000 ES as well? Kayvon, so the 5,000, you know, as much as we want to show it, that'll be a static display. So it'll be there if anyone wants to just take a look at it. But with yeah. the 6,000, the, the nice part is you can take a look at that projector and just imagine 500 lumens dimmer, but all of your color and contrast, a lot of that stays very similar. Um, but the 6,000 is definitely that sweet spot. That's kind of where, you know, a lot of people are finding their way yeah. into because of the, the few key benefits that that guy offers. Yeah, that's what Gene and I were talking about whenever he was getting a new projector. I was like, the 6,000 ES is just the perfect yeah. spot for a projector. And especially for like a 150 inch screen, you get the mm -hmm. HDR you need. It's, yeah, it's great. And the digital lens shift. I mean, I can't live without yeah. that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, definitely one of the bigger selling features. You also get a better quality lens on the 6000. Obviously, it's brighter. Um overall though, I mean, just the entire projector lineup for it to get the X1 Ultimate for projector. I kind of feel bad because I have a 915 ES that I had in my basement as it was a loaner that we were sending out in case anyone needed repairs and I hooked up the 5000 and I'll tell you what, that X1 Ultimate for projector, I didn't want to admit that a six thousand dollar projector was smoking a twenty five thousand dollar you know just a couple year old projector but it it really does make huge strides year over year and I'm, I'm just excited to see um not only that but if anyone is interested in upgrades being able to take a look physically throughout the uh venue at audio by slide and seeing hey this is the six thousand this is the seven thousand if you want to be a gtz customer by all means we we could definitely get you taken care of and um i'm just excited to be able to show the full lineup there mm -hmm. Yeah, super cool. And then I know Gene and, and Michael, you guys are going to be doing a lot of content while you're there. So if you guys, if, if you're watching this and you're an audio device subscriber and you're not following these guys, make sure you do. So you guys are going to be doing a lot of filming and, and editing of all oh, the yeah. different experiences while you're there as well, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I mean, I'm actually bringing some people to help. I'm bringing Shane Lee from uh, Spare Change, formerly Spare Change. He's going to help uh, with camera work. I'm bringing the family, too. You know, uh, my mm -hmm. youngest daughter is really starting to get into audio. She's 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 a singer and she's kind of oh, cool. she understands the difference in headphones. Now, when I play headphones for her, like the Mark Levinson headphones, for example, are just fabulous. So. I'm excited to bring the family. And that's really what differentiates this show from a lot of other trade shows is it's family friendly. So if you're on the verge or if you're on the fence about going because you might have family, you know, you don't want to leave your family behind. I would say bring your family with you. Right. You guys agree. 
Yeah, oh, 100%. I mean, there's uh, there's a lot of different rooms around there. Even just walk, walking and popping your head in a room for five seconds, you've got a couple hours of entertainment right there. Yeah. yeah. Gene, I've got a 14-year-old daughter and 11-year-old son, and they're actually like super excited about the show as well. My son is like, he wants to do a demo. He wants to actually demo a room. <laughs> so I'm like, we got a little work to do, buddy. But uh, I was like, walk around, see who you think did a good job, and maybe we can get you lined up for next year. But he's super fired up about it. So yeah, and actually... Um, kids under 22 can get in for free. So both, you know, young kids and obviously in Raleigh, we've got some, some big universities nearby that we've got a lot of interest in. And so we're giving all of the university students uh, free tickets as well. So we, we, uh, we demoed a Kanto a few times last year. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, any, if there's any questions you guys want to try to address while we have a chance, feel free to do so. And then we'll, we'll keep on running through. So um, let's see. I think someone's asking about home theater receiver for a gaming. Adam, did you mention a little bit more about the gaming setup? I know you teased it a little bit. Maybe you can unpack that just a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> you know, just, just this think, uh, you know, multiple screens, um, high refresh rates and, uh, kind of a new way to, uh, enjoy music and movies and games. Very, very cool. Awesome. Well, Adam, thanks for joining us. And, and Kayvon, thanks for joining us again. We're, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys for uh, for being a big, big part of it. And to all the folks who are, like you said, Adam, you guys are bringing a whole squad. So thank yep. you to everyone at Kev and Sony. And, and Kayvon, I know you Sony is as well. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. We're really excited, Jonathan. We're really excited. Thank you so much for uh, having us. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got a few more people uh, about to jump on, so viewers yeah, yeah, don't jump off yet. Folks <laughs> that we're going to bring on here from a couple different brands. Real quick, I also wanted to make sure I told everyone about – the uh, the kickoff that we're doing Friday night. So as as you guys mentioned, we've got a lot of folks in the industry that are going to be here from the industry, and then of course we've got a lot of consumers. We've also got the entire audio advice company is going to be there. And so Friday night we're doing this big kickoff and keynote session about 400 yards down from the Sheraton Hotel at Lincoln Theater, which is a really cool sort of older industrial concert venue. Um, we're going to have give everybody a beer to sort of walk from the. Sheraton over to the uh, Lincoln Theater with a sip and stroll that we have that's going to be sponsored by one of our big brand partners, um, Bowers and Wilkins, Morantz and uh, Denon and Polk. So they're going to be sponsoring that. And then we're going to head over to the Lincoln Theater. We're going to have this big kickoff. We've got some really cool product announcements. Scott Newham is going to be doing a really cool uh, keynote session there. We have some North America debuts and literally some world debuts of some really cool new products they're going to be announcing right here uh, at Audio Vice Live during that session. We've also got a live band called Love Tribe that's going to be uh, interactive as part of the whole experience as well. Won't give away too much uh, for that, but you've got to make sure you're there. And then they're going to do a session afterwards, so it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So a great way to kick off the weekend. Going to be a ton of fun. Can't wait. Uh, if you haven't, if it's not on your calendar, make sure you guys uh, put that on there as well. All right. We, next, we have joining us from – let me pull up our thing here, our, our agenda here. We've got uh, Chris Strausner from Harmon. Chris, welcome. Hey, everybody. Thanks, Jonathan. Nick. Yeah. Good to see you, Michael man. and Gene. Hey, Chris. Hey, we're excited to be back. We really are. Uh, last year was such a treat. And I've been in, in this industry 25 years. And as you know, Gene and Michael have mentioned, being to every trade show on, on the block. Yeah. A lot of, you know, a lot of times we're we are in industry trade shows. Mm -hmm. And you walk around and and it Again, this is just such a great community. It's a small, you know, smaller community than you might think. Uh, people are wonderful, but you walk around and you see the, the same faces. Audio Advice Live last year was so refreshing. There was so much great energy uh, to see. And Gene, you, you said it, man. There, I, there was families there. Uh, and to see the excitement and the, the awe, because, you know, doing this 25 years, <laughs> yeah. At some point, you kind of feel like oh, I've, I've I've seen everything. Obviously, there's yeah. always something that gets gets our blood flowing and keeps us, you know, excited to wake up and do what we do in the morning. But but for me, the real pleasure is to see it reflected back on the the faces of consumers that are actually uh, you know buy and own our stuff. So that that's that was really the difference for us last year. And Chris, your demo room for JBL HDI with the twelve hundred with two twelve hundred P subs that was awesome. I mean, I actually thought it was Atmos when I sat right. down for the first minute. It was that immersive. So you guys did a great job. And I think it was all like you had towers for the rears. I think there were the thirty six hundreds in the back and the thirty eight hundreds in the front. 
We did, yeah. JBL last HDI. year, we we showed a, a full JBL HDI system running off of a, a JBL synthesis receiver, and it was all you know just all one package, mm -hmm. and it was it was incredible. Uh, we didn't get we didn't bust into any ceiling tiles, so Nick thanked me <laughs> for, for for not having to do that. But yeah, we were able to create a, a, just an incredible audio uh, seven channel audio experience. Yeah, uh, just in the room last year. Well, that uh, system blew everyone's mind. That was one that I, you know, I'd spent time with the HDI series, listened to them a lot in two channel, but up to that point, I hadn't heard a full HDI system. And um, yeah, that room, I think alone, we had customers leaving with like, hey, I, I want to go ahead and buy this system back, before yeah. I leave. Yeah. I saw, I saw so, people carrying big boxes under their <laughs> right? I know. arms oh, there. Oh, well, first time back. One thing that people don't realize too is like that was a massive room. This is that not your like, bedroom. This isn't a small theater room. This is a yeah. huge room, massive ceilings, and just mm -hmm. super, super immersive in that big yeah. room. And awesome. those 1200 P's, that's that's what I have as a subwoofer. They don't look like they're going to have that much output, but to be able to fill up that massive room was incredibly impressive. I mean, my room's much tinier, so I was like, I know what these things can do. But <laughs> Well, they're tight subs. They're very musical yeah. subs. If I hate to use that term, but there is some truth to that. You want a sub mm -hmm. that's got good low group delay and they sound good for music so and then yeah it, it, does it's that. true they're, they're great for music they're obviously great for home theater as well and uh the fact that yeah you know I, I i think it's really one of the best powered subwoofers that we've designed at jbl yeah uh, the, but the, but the fact that it is a powered subwoofer and you know we have a whole arsenal of custom subs that require additional amplification these are you know, these are subwoofers you can buy, you can play, you know, movies, surround sound systems with, and of course, great, great stereo music as well. Uh, my system at home, for example, uses two HDI subwoofers. <laughs> and I'm, I'm an audiophile. I, you know, I, I love my, my stereo system, but man, I love, I love the slam and the love, love watching movies and feeling that impact. Chris, so, I think you need to do a 15 inch version of that sub. You think so? Okay. I will uh, yeah. make a note here and get that right up to the <laughs> flagpole, top of the flagpole. You have a like, no, you need an 18, man. You got <laughs> 18s. 140 dB. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's um, great. Chris, you guys, you guys, obviously, you had an awesome experience last year, as Gene just mentioned, and it was a ton of fun, especially with what you guys were able to accomplish in, in really like two big ballrooms. You had sort of a theater setup and then a two channel setup. Maybe you can share a little bit about what you guys are going to be showing this year and then what you guys, what you can't share about what you guys are going to be showing just yet. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to, to share that with you, Jonathan. Uh, we, we are actually going to be making some North American debuts at Audio Advice Live. And I don't know if we have, we have a picture we can show, uh, but we're introducing, uh, there we go. Uh, we're introducing six new products from the mm -hmm. JBL Classic series. So uh, you guys are familiar with the L100, L82, and L52 Classic mm -hmm. loudspeakers. We have... Uh, we have a whole arsenal of electronics behind that that we are going to be uh, making making their North American premiere here at Audio Advice Live, which is really exciting. So we'll have uh, two brand new integrated amplifiers, uh, a couple of sources as well, um, a music streamer, CD player, and my favorite, what we call the JBL Spinner, which is which is a turntable. It's really awesome. So we're going to have a lot of products to unveil. Uh, the, the cool thing about, you know, seeing seeing this product is we have something for everybody. You know, we're talking about these, you know, these massive, um, you know, home theater systems. Some of them are, you know, multi six figure. Even the HDI, uh, JBL HDI system we did last year was, you know, thirty thousand dollars. That's you know, that's a lot of money. This this is product that makes it affordable for you know hundreds of dollars to, for everybody to to experience. So. Um, real excited to do that. Uh, in addition to that, we were going to be partnering uh, with our friends at Samsung. Yeah. If everybody's familiar, I know I know Sony's coming big with their projectors. Well, Samsung is known for their LED displays or micro LED displays. So we're gonna we're gonna be showcasing a, a video display from Samsung that will just blow people away. And of course, being JBL, we're gonna have the sound system to go with it. There you go, big screen, big sound. Big screen, big sound. And Jonathan said, you said it, bigger and better this year. So yeah. absolutely. I, I can I could probably share what I know they're gonna show, what Samsung's gonna show in the lobby. So just imagine even before you get into the hotel, the Sheraton in downtown Raleigh, you're gonna have 
Jeep is going to have their Grand Wagoneer, which is like 115,000 with a um, Macintosh system. There's going to be a Maserati out front with the Sonos Faber system. Uh, Coastal Source is going to have a bunch of outdoor audio. They're going to have the Samsung Terrace out there. That's before we even walk into the hotel. When you come into the hotel, Samsung's going to bring their 110 inch panel. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. Yep, uh, just in the lobby, just to have a really cool, vibrant video display. Uh, just when you walk into the lobby, uh, Bowers and Wilkins is going to have the Nautilus there. They're going to have uh, the Grand Utopias from Focal. So even before you get into the uh, into the hotel, you're going to have some amazing experiences. And then, like I said, Samsung's going to have this incredible video display. And then when you go up to registration, uh, Chris's team has like one of the premier locations right there, ne right next to where we're doing all the panel sessions that Michael and Gene are going to be part of. Uh, they've got this big, big ballroom where they're going to have similar to what you just saw in that photo with a lot of different you know, brands. And maybe, Chris, you can uh, elaborate a little bit more on on the different brands that you guys partner with as part of the Harmon umbrella. Yeah, obviously for this year, it's 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 a big JBL year for us. But the the other brands that fall under the Harmon luxury umbrella will have product from Mark Levinson. Gene, you said you love your Mark Levinson headphones. They'll they'll be there to uh, to audition and uh, and purchase if you love them. Uh, last year we made the North American debut of the Mark Levinson ML50 amplifiers, which is our 50th anniversary of Mark Levinson. These tremendous, tremendous amplifiers, monoblock amplifiers or limited edition. Uh, we're, we're bringing them back this year. So people, if you didn't get a chance last year, you'll be able to audition the uh, Mark Levinson uh, am amplifiers as well. Uh, in addition to that, uh, part of our family is Arcam Electronics. Arcam yep. is a, a, the company. Arcam AVR myself. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and, and of course, Revel, uh, our loud, loud, other loudspeaker brand. So we've, we've, we'll have a whole arsenal of product, uh, again, ranging from JBL, Mark Levinson, Revel, uh, and Arcam. So very, very excited. Uh, we, we have the space for it, and we're, we're ready to come back and, and, and show everybody what we got. Chris, are we going to see Salon 3s maybe? Uh, what's that, Gene? You were breaking up on me. Yeah. <laughs> He's he's bringing an 18 inch sub <laughs> and yes. the salon threes, and he's, yes. he's giving them uh, a pair to you and me, Gene. So. Unfortunately, okay. just uh, prototypes <laughs> this year, but, but yeah, I'll take the pros. <laughs> but uh, no, I think that the the LED displays, like the the one that's gonna be in the lobby, we can't downplay that. How cool that is to have it there. I mean, the just the retail on that screen. What's the what's the retail on a screen like that, Chris? Roughly, uh, it's roughly two hundred forty nine thousand dollars. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a, an ins insane screen. And on top of that, a lot of people are thinking it'll be heavily that, guarded. Don't worry. Yeah, it would be heavily guarded. Uh, no <laughs> heists. Uh, no, but uh, you know, the the cool thing, too, is like people are wanting to say that LEDs are going to replace projection. And we're just everyone's just waiting on the price to come down. It's going to be a little bit before the price comes down, I think. But, <laughs> um, you know, you can go and kind of see what the future of that's going to look like in person. And you, know, you wouldn't be able to get a projector like that in a lobby with that much light so yeah. i'm stoked to see i've never seen one in person so i'm stoked to see that's one of my uh one of my top things i'm looking forward to yeah, you yeah bring, bring some, some sunglasses light. and and uh some sunscreen because yeah uh, that, you'll be surprised how bright those those displays are just just incredible mm -hmm. uh again too it's uh we, we talk about product for consumers to come out and again i mentioned you know the industry trade shows we we see this stuff all the time but for the ability for for consumers families to come in this 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 is a stuff of awe and wonder right this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see some of this some of this stuff and then combined with the fact of affordable products you know little turntables headphones i mean it's there's something for everybody Mm -hmm. For sure. Absolutely. And I know uh, you represent, obviously, the JBL luxury side, and people may not know sort of the difference between the JBL luxury and the consumer side. But on the consumer side, and there's some products that people are probably you know used to seeing more like out in the, in the wild, if you will. Um, you guys are going to have quite a bit of products for people to see as well. I don't know if you can touch on much of that. but Yeah, of products. course. Uh, th so on the consumer side of audio, this is th this is how people know JBL, because right. we got that we got our true wireless products, our headphones. Uh, if, if you've ever seen the JBL party box and you know what I'm talking about, that mm -hmm. thing is like this big speaker that's that bring the party with you yeah. battery with karaoke machine built into it. Guitar inputs. You can just carry this thing around. So we, we're going to we're going to be bringing uh, a lot of a lot of fun products from the consumer audio side as well. Very, very cool. Awesome. 
Chris, thanks for joining us again. Thank you for uh, the support in a big, big way. It's going to be a whole lot of fun and uh, glad you guys are, are back and bigger this year. And thank you for your team. I know you guys are going to be bringing a lot of folks as well. So thanks for joining us today and telling everyone a little bit about what they can expect to see at the show. And can't wait. It's uh, about a couple weeks away. So, all right. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, we've got um, John Mahoney joining us from DVLA. So these guys have been a great partner. Last year, they actually did a really cool experience in the lobby. Uh, we're saving some of that for a, a different experience this year. But just when you first walked into the Sheraton, you were able to hear the, the phantoms right there, uh, kind of bringing the, bringing the vibe to the Sheraton. But John, welcome. Great to have you. I know you've been on a couple of our live streams in the past. It's great to have you back. Good to be here, Jonathan. Always happy to partner with you guys in any way that we can. You know, we love working with audio advice. Absolutely awesome. And I know you guys, you had your new sound bar last year that was like a big, big hit, probably one of the big hits of the show. Um, I don't think you guys ever had a down moment in your room when you guys were doing the big demo. So congrats on such a, a great reception for Thanks. folks. Yeah. And good news that sound bar is now available in gold as well. Oh, very cool. Very, very cool. Well, tell everyone, um, I guess maybe what was your initial impressions of the show last year? And then uh, maybe you can kind of walk everyone through what you guys are going to be showing off this year. I mean, definitely surprised. I mean, not that I doubted you guys for a second, but I mean, that was like a well-oiled machine. It was staffed amazingly. Just the vibe was great. Um, you know, talking to everyone in the industry, making new friends, um, really good turnout. And I just love Raleigh, North Carolina in general. So anytime I have an excuse to go down there, I'm happy. Yeah. You think so you found gonna... cool, cool, cool restaurants in, in town as well, right? Good eats for sure in Raleigh. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, tell everyone what you guys are going to be showing off this year. You've got kind of a unique experience that you're going to be bringing to for the show. Yeah, we're going to be showcasing um, Phantom Theater, which is, um, you know, our Phantom active loudspeaker, which you all are probably familiar with, but in a Dolby Atmos configuration. It's one of these setups that's just like we do it because we can. It's super cool. Each unit is you know, self-powered, full range. So you have subs all around you. So actually we name our systems like 7.0.4 because there's no discrete dedicated LFE channel. Every single unit is getting a full range of audio to it. Uh, it's a really immersive experience, amazing for gaming, um, amazing for like concert videos, Atmos music, um, really flexible system. And then, you know, just... At WLA, we're always trying to do something different conceptually and aesthetically. It's just, it's it's totally the other end of the spectrum from normally what you would expect from a home theater setup. It it actually, it stands out. It, it's definitely memorable. I know you guys, I think, did a very similar experience uh, at Cedia this past year, correct? And I remember seeing that and just being like, wow, this is, it's just, like you said, it's something completely unique and different than, than you're used to seeing it, especially at a trade show. Yeah, and you're not used to getting um, low end like that behind you. Yeah, very cool. What are you guys using to uh, to power the system, the, the whole setup? We'll be using a JBL synthesis. So, um, you know, the setup is sort of runs on Dante. Um, there's not that many options on the market, um, and JBL does it the best, in my opinion. So, you know, all the speakers are connected via Ethernet. It's, it's audio over IP via Dante, direct audio network through Ethernet. It's a really cool system. It's uh, flexible. It's easy to set up. So that's how we like to do it. Very cool. Yeah, and you're, you guys are bringing in some help from JBL as well with uh, the SDP 55, right? Is that the, uh, the process? Yeah. The, oh, 58. Yeah, sorry. My brain's a, a few years back. Yep. Uh, but yeah, the because uh, that's one of the few that actually have Dante. Uh, so that's, that's a really yeah, exciting. I mean, to my knowledge, there's maybe, I know of three on the market. Um, and mm -hmm. The other two don't do it as well as JBL, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, your uh, your room last year was definitely a hit. Uh, Gene, didn't you uh, didn't you get a chance to go into the room last year and, and hear their uh, hear Dion? Yeah, we actually did a video on our YouTube channel, shameless plug. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll link to it. For yeah, it was great. I mean, I did not expect to get that much sound out of just one bar. I mean, it, even without any subs or anything, it was for someone that's looking to set up sound in a in a bedroom or a small family room or something and doesn't want the fuss of multiple boxes or just the complications of setting up a multi-channel system. It's one of the best solutions on the market for what I see. And it looks great too. It looks like with those little balls <laughs> hanging on top, it looks like a little death star kind of thing. Um, maybe you can touch it's on very that posh. About the, the functionality, like, like Gene mentioned, the, the centered speaker and how it's sort of, I don't know if it's omnidirectional, but how you can sort of pivot change 
which is really cool. Yeah, it's a full range driver. It's the dedicated center channel, but really what makes the design unique, and actually you could see one right here behind me. Um, it can be configured either lying flat on a surface or wall mounted. And since there's 17 drivers inside of the speaker, it will do the 16 that are for left and right and Atmos and sides. It will rechannel them accordingly, automatically based on its configuration. But then the center channel must be physically rotated to point in the correct orientation if it's wall mounted flat versus on a surface like that. Uh, pretty unique in that regard. And, you know, like Gene mentioned, it's it's surprising the amount of power this thing kicks out. If there's one thing WLA does phenomenally, it's it's based on a very small driver, pushing drivers to their physical limits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, those those speakers sounded great. Even the lobby, the uh, the phantoms that you had uh, set up last year were filling up the entire space. And that was, you know, I, I don't even know. 30 foot ceiling, yeah. uh, probably <laughs> higher than that. And it was filling up the entire That's... space with it, with ease. Yeah. So, so that was a huge room. That's right. Yeah. The huge lobby in the, in there, which was really cool. It was really impressive. You guys did a great job. Well, uh, John, thanks for joining us. We're You guys have been an awesome partner. It's been great having you guys on a couple of these different live streams and we're excited to see, like I said, here in about three weeks, uh, looking forward to it and excited to see this really cool presentation you guys are going to have uh, at the Sheraton. Hey, Jonathan, before John yeah, goes, there's sure. a question that came up. What's the correct pronunciation of DVLA? DVLA. And then how do you say this? Is it Dion? Dion. Yep. Yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, thanks for bringing that out. I know, especially down here in the South, you have to forgive our Southern draw. We, we, <laughs> exactly. We mess yeah. it all up. Yeah. up a little bit. We don't judge. Jesus, it's, it's, whatever you, it's whatever you want it to be, <laughs> be as long as you enjoy it. Very, very cool. Well, John, we uh, we appreciate uh, Deverlet coming and uh, <laughs> talking about the uh, the Dion, and uh, <laughs> we look forward to seeing you there, man. Get us all drunk. Yeah, look, looking forward to seeing you guys in a few weeks. Awesome, be fun. Very, very cool. Nice see you. Bye, Michael Jean. I know we touched on on, a, on quite a bit. Anything? jump out or anything else that you guys uh, want to make sure we highlight man i'm excited i want to see what y'all got going on because you keep throwing yeah. these little teasers and you oh, just yeah. throw the little little bait and i'm like all right come on hook are you gonna up. have the apple oh, vision yeah. pros there i want to know i want to do a demo of that because it's supposedly <laughs> going to replace home theater so right right and we'll have the new uh, meta goggles as well that are going to you know, put all these screens out of business for sure i do think it is pretty cool that that you're including even some gaming because I know we got a lot of guys yeah. like I do casual gaming in my theater room, but I don't have 120 Hertz. You yeah. know, that's one of the downfalls of a lot of projectors. Um, you don't quite get that same experience, the high refresh rate, um, especially if you're doing like first person shooters and yeah. big action games like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, the input know. latency is yeah. a big difference. And so that's I'm, a lot of my theater, which is, I, those of you who notice, I just moved into a new house, new office. So I've got a new, uh, a new smaller theater space, and I use it. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to be working on it for a little bit. But uh, so I'm about to replace the display, and gaming's a huge consideration because you know a lot of my friends come over. You know, we can watch we Ready Player One and Dune, but what's really crazy is getting in there and playing a game, and you know, being able to interact with it and the base hitting you in the chest, yeah. and you know, just being fully immersed by it because people aren't used to it. They're used to a 32 inch monitor and you know, yeah, PC. So it's uh, I'm really excited to have that there. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have I know that Adam's working the background hard on it. Yep, Adam and Kayvon touched on it. They're gonna have the 98 inch Sony TV, which is gonna be mm -hmm. awesome with the Kef audio system, which is gonna be cool, and of course the Sony receiver. So that's gonna be. Really, really cool. And like you mentioned, Michael, it's such a, like a tangential space that a lot of us are, inter are interested in and involved in. Uh, there's a little gaming company down the road here in Cary, North Carolina, that we're trying to get their attention to, to get uh -oh. them involved in a big, big way, maybe next year. So nice. a little teaser, but uh, I'm sure most people are familiar with that that company. So we're, we're going to bring some more experiences like that uh, in the future. So be on the lookout for sure. Look, if we want to inspire the next generation of audiophiles, it's going to have to be through their language. And mm -hmm. gaming is a big part of their language, as is yeah. portable audio, that kind of stuff. So anytime you can interface mm -hmm. our passion sure. with those kind of you know categories, I think it's just a win-win because it's kind of a gateway, you know, if they get into it with the gaming and it sounds great for the gaming, they're going to want to start streaming music, especially mm -hmm. if it's spatial audio with Apple music. And, um, I think that's kind of a way to reinvent the audio file. 
Sure. Mm-hmm. And there's a, a ton of great scores in me in gaming now. You know, yeah. not only we have this beautiful visual cinematography, but we also have some really, really great mixes. And so when you're able to pair that with an incredible system, got a beautiful image, big screen. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, enough. Sound design is, is great. And that's, that's another big thing is our, our show. Not only we're we just having, you know, a lot of different, you know, types of experiences we've got a really diverse uh, audience there last year yeah uh, that was that was another thing i didn't didn't expect just uh you know I'm, I'm a younger guy in the industry and so i was like you know compared to a lot of my uh a lot of my colleagues i mean jonathan's like 80 years old uh <laughs> so, <laughs> but it was it was really cool to see a, a lot of younger people there and see that we can you know share the hobby with everybody i'm surprised you even let old guys like me and gene into the show man so we're, we're i know great. well we've got uh <laughs> We'll, we'll make sure we put some handrails for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Nick just graduated uh, high school. We had to sort of, you know, blend the, the median age. So to bring yeah, on. yeah I got my license last week, so I can drive. Right there. <laughs> well, I think I'm Michael kidding. and I are going to have a deadlift competition on lifting subwoofers at the show. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like we said, we got some great panel sessions. So, Nick, you're going to be moderating on, on uh, Friday, building a high quality home theater sound system, which is going to be awesome. Yeah. You're going to be on that one. Uh, joined by some of our friends from Anthem, Chernov, and uh, Kinetics. And then on Saturday, we have two sessions. We've got the Future of Home Theater video, and we've got Scott Newnham's going to be uh, moderating that one. We've got Stuart Film Screens, JVC, Kaleidoscape, Mad VR, and then Michael, you're going to be on that one as mm-hmm. well, which is going to be great. And then we've got Trends and High Performance Audio, and we've got uh, Chris Trojner, who you saw just a few minutes ago from Harmon, will be on there. We've got uh, Will Klein from Sonos Faber. They're going to be bringing the, I hope I say it right, the Stradivarius, which they launched at the Munich Hi-Fi show. They're going to be bringing those to the show. Uh, Kef will be up there as well. And David Solomon from Cobuzz, I'll be moderating that one. And then lastly, on Sunday, Leon Shaw, we're bringing him back, uh, founder of Audio Advice. He's going to be moderating the Vinyl Revival, Turntable Must-Haves and Getting the Most Out of Your Vinyl Collection. So he's got Michael Fremmer is going to be there, uh, Project, uh, Riga, and the uh, the best head of hair in hi-fi, John Durda from, from MoFi, will be there <laughs> as well. So we've got some great panel sessions lined up. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, Nick, Gene, Michael, anything we missed that we didn't cover that people should be paying attention to? We've got a lot of great, great brands. Of course, we had some of our great partners that we discussed. You know, Sonos is going to be there. Clips is going to be there. Lots of affordable products. Uh, all the way up to the, your $600,000 Grand Utopias right. with, the, with the name uh, 200 series. So lots of cool, uh, everything in between. But anything we didn't cover? Well, you know, uh, what's that, the bar? What's the bar situation over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll make sure the, the bar at the at Jimmy Valvano's is going to be fully staffed this year. I think we took them by surprise. They weren't they didn't know what to expect with this industry you know, being up late. But uh, I know you guys kind of snuck off toward the end of the night on Saturday and did a live stream kind of mm-hmm. ad hoc with some of your other big buddies. Yeah. You guys are probably doing something similar this year, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. we'll have some fun with it. Very yeah, cool. and then uh, you know these these are really social settings too you know when it comes down to just being able to meet people inside of the industry and if you ever have questions you know these a lot of these guys are just here to talk and teach and so you know that's what we also love about the panel sessions last year we had a q a section uh we we ran out of time we couldn't get all the uh all the talking out <laughs> <laughs> enough i know that uh michael's on the same i, I was he was in the panel that i was moderating last year and this year we got gene so we're looking forward to some really cool conversations that uh that you guys can see and and hopefully interact with yeah, don't forget we got the the Lincoln Theater. We're gonna rock it out Friday night, which is gonna be a lot of fun. That's where we're gonna be announcing a lot of these North America and uh, world debuts, which is gonna be really cool. Again, just a couple hundred yards down the street from the Sheridan, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, uh, Gene, I know you're gonna have your team there. Michael, you're gonna have your team there. You guys are gonna be producing a lot of content. We're gonna make sure that we'll share that uh, to your audience as well. Um, we'll have the sip and stroll Friday night. You know, again, right after uh, the show, five o'clock, we'll shut everything down. We'll have a lot of fun. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of camaraderie. We can bring the other guys back on real quick if they're still on. I know I think Chris is still backstage and John will uh, give everybody a final shout out here. So, yeah, John, thanks again for joining. Adam, always great having you, Chris. Thank you, guys. Uh, any any final words here for the group right before we head out? All right, cool. Let's have a great time. To a great show. Yep. Cool, guys. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Again, don't forget August 4th through the 6th right here in downtown Raleigh. It's going to be at the Sheraton. It's going to be a ton of fun. Bigger, better louder than before we can't wait to see you thank you guys for for joining us this evening and we'll see you next time thanks everybody as you guys